Zimbardo's experiment began with finding participants. 70 people answered, and he ended up with 24. By a flip of a coin, it was decided who would be the prisoners and who would be the, the guards. The inmates were even picked up in a squad car and read their rights like a normal criminal situation. The guards were given no guard training aside from telling them what to do whenever they felt was necessary to enforce the law. To punish the prisoners, the guards had them do push-ups while a guard or prisoner was on the punished back. On the second day, the prisoners revolted, barricading their cells in their beds and taunting the guards. Any guard not on duty was called in to deal with, this thr to deal with the threat. They shot the prisoners with incredibly cold streams from fire extinguishers. The guards busted in and put the rebellion's leader in solitary confinement and started to be much more abusive toward the prisoners. To prevent further uprisings, the guards resorted to psychological tactics, like allowing the good prisoners to eat while the rebels were not. Soon after, one prisoner started suffering and was not allowed to eat for a whole day. Visitors were allowed to come in on the day on certain days, and the prison was modified to seem benign. Afterwards, an escape was even planned, and instead of acting like psychologists, a plan was made to foil the attempt. Soon after, Zimbardo realized how horrible his inmates were being treated and decided to end the experiment. Here's a little more information. Yeah.